As everyone loves to say, the devil works hard, but Kris Jenner works harder. And that's exactly what everyone has been saying following the news of Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson's breakup. The reason being is because at the same time the story dropped, news also broke that Khloe Kardashian's surrogate just gave birth to her second child with Tristan Thompson. Stories like these two coming out at the same time has the public in a frenzy, let me tell you, trending both stories online and fueling this narrative that the Kardashians are the ones creating this mess of a online storm themselves. The Kardashians stay in the headlines, honestly, but over the years, people have joked that their mother has become the queen of manipulating stories and strategically timing things in order to make her kids look better in the press by deflecting or maybe faking things. Now, that's not a confirmed fact. That's just something people have speculated because time and time again, when stories come out about the Kardashians, it always seems to work in their favor or either get them out of the headlines quickly or or be overshadowed by something another sibling is doing. Not like any of this has any truth to it, but over the years, people have always joked, some believed, and some thought it was downright ridiculous, which I did most of the time, but people joked that Chris was manipulating things like the Jordan and Tristan situation with him kissing her at that after party at his house and the way that it blew up so crazy. People were like, maybe it's to get the ratings up. People speculated that rumors of Kylie being pregnant were going around Around. prior to her announcing it herself she was trying to hide her entire pregnancy but people felt like maybe Chris sprinkled in some news to the media to get attention towards Kylie cosmetics or maybe prepare people for the news before she was about to drop this big piece of information about herself and during the pandemic the Kardashians were having tons of family gatherings going out and when people started to see and realize what they were doing and expressed how upsetting it all was, news came out that Kim and Kanye were getting a divorce and people stopped talking about the Kardashians partying and going out. So people have always joked that it was their momager Chris behind each and every rumor leak or behind the good timing because she is such a businesswoman. And frankly, I never really bought into it too much because it is just speculation that they're planning every single little thing that they're doing and people saying that it's PR stunts. And I know celebrities do PR stunts, but people were saying it every time the Kardashian Jenners did anything that was hitting the headlines. And maybe I was holding out hope that Pete and Kim were real because I really did think they were so cute together. Like he was bringing out this silly side to her, it seems. She was finally being this fun, like goofy, not so serious because a lot of people notice that when she was with Kanye, he was the one that was dressing her, telling her what to wear and all this stuff. And she's expressed this on the show. She has talked about how Kanye was the one to really teach her how to be a A-list celebrity. He really introduced her to this world, put her on the map, and people were seeing Kim as an actual celebrity because of Kanye. And I think now that she is out of that relationship and, you know, seeing her with Pete, I know a lot of people thought it was fake, but to me, I was like, oh, this is a relationship where she might not always have to think about the brand or, you know, how they're looking together, appearing together, how she's dressed, all of this stuff might not be as pressuring as it was in a previous relationship, which she has talked about. She's talked about it on the show that now she's becoming her own person. She's discovering what she likes, her style, everything everything because she was with Kanye for so long and now she's finally got the chance to figure out who Kim is as an individual. But like I said, oh man, people felt like her and Pete were not a real relationship since the beginning. And I know, I know that seeing Kim Kardashian with Pete Davidson was just something that people could not process. Like seeing them together, people were just like, it just, I just don't, these are Lego pieces that do not fit together. These are puzzle pieces, not, you know, fitting. This is a square in a triangle. I don't know. It's just not working. This has to be a PR stunt. And honestly, the relationship had been going on for quite some time. And just when I was thinking, 
people were starting to maybe believe it was real. Since she was posting on her Instagram, she was talking about him in interviews, she was talking about him on the show. He was apparently going to be seen in some future episodes of the Kardashians on Hulu. I was thinking, I don't I don't think it's for publicity, you guys. I didn't ever really want to believe that it was for publicity. I really wanted to believe that they were really together. And plus, there were so many people that said Shawn Mendes and Camila Cabello were a PR stunt for their song that was coming out. And then they ended up dating for years. So I was just like, the last time everybody tried to convince me that someone was in a PR stunt relationship, they ended up being in a real relationship. So I'm not gonna believe them this time. I am going to believe that Kim is really with Pete. I really like them together. And well, the internet is here to just laugh at me, I guess. The internet is really out here this weekend now that all this Chloe and Kim and the timing with everything, they are like, haha, if you thought it was real, you are a joke. And I'm like, oh no, I wanted it to be real. I mean, plus there was that crazy thing where P got all the kids initial or like the first letter of their name tattooed on him, on his neck. And he's he's got several tattoos for Kim and he was branded. And listen, I know he had tattoos for Ariana and probably a couple other girlfriends, but branded, he was branded. He got branded her name into him, his skin, not a tattoo, you guys into his skin permanent. Like you can't get that covered up, I don't think. So yeah, I don't know you guys. That, uh, that there's no way that it was real. Just let me believe it was real. Just let me believe. But just when people I thought were slowing down the conversation of it being fake, that's when rumors started that they were breaking up. And I didn't want to believe it. Once again, didn't want to believe it because he was in Australia filming a movie. I thought, well, he's in Australia. He's going to be there for four months. And she has her family, her business here in LA. So she can't be going back and forth all the time. She can't be there for four months spending all this time with her boyfriend while he's working. I just don't see that being realistic for her because she has a whole life that's not in Australia. So I thought that's why they weren't being seen together, but the rumors came and they just kept getting louder and louder and louder. And the timing just so happened to correlate with Chloe having another baby with Tristan. So these rumors were kind of being said about Pete and Kim and then I'm hearing Chloe and Tristan, they're having their baby. Tristan has been called out for cheating on Chloe so much. And I made a video about this and we talked in depth about the entire timeline of their relationship. And that most recently he just had a child with another woman whom he tried to deny at first, which was so bad, but paternity tests proved that he was actually the father and Chloe was completely embarrassed to find out along with the rest of the world what he had done behind her back. By the time this news came out and he did indeed have another child with another woman, their surrogate was already carrying his second child with Chloe. So this was just devastating for her. And apparently they haven't spoken really since this whole incident and they only ever really see each other for co-parenting reasons with True. Now, when the news came out about the surrogate, people just couldn't understand why she would even want another child with him just based on the fact that he had already cheated on her several times, even before the most recent where a child was conceived. But she has said on the show before that she wants her kids to have the same father and that was really important to her. But she was getting a ton of hate, a ton of backlash. There were a ton of things being said about her that were nasty online just really hating on her for having another child with Tristan. So the news of the baby being born coming out on the same day as the Kim and Pete breakup, the story of Kim and Pete truly overshadowed the Chloe news of the birth of her child. And some people think it was purposeful and another one of a mama Kris Jenner's plans because Chloe got so much hate when the news first broke about the surrogate and to maybe deflect any hate coming with the news of a baby's arrival. Let's throw the breakup news out there. Let's take some load off of Chloe because it has been speculated for a few weeks that Kim and Pete broke up, but they just so happened to finally confirm it on the same day that they're confirming the birth of Chloe's baby. Oh my goodness. Good timing, I would say. But the relationship having been nine months, the same amount of of time to have a baby there's now people going back to the original thought of oh my god this whole thing was just a cover for chloe's newest edition i don't know you guys my head hurts with the rumors and speculation here but it is just so funny how there are just so many theories and 
just strategies that people are thinking about here, whether the Kardashians and Jenners really are masters of the media or timing is just always right with them. We won't know for sure, but it definitely is crazy to think about. And I kind of feel like maybe this video is like different than some of my other videos, but this was kind of fun to talk about some of the things that people have speculated about the Kardashians and this news coming out about them. But I definitely want to know what you guys think. Did you guys think the relationship was real? Because there are so many things being said about it. So I guess we will just have to see what happens. We're going to get probably all the behind the scenes on all of this going down on some future season of the Kardashians. So I probably will be watching that, but let me know what you guys think. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.